Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to make a dash system in Roblox Studio. Last video we went over how to make an M1 system, which if you click anywhere on the screen, it's gonna play an M1 animation for us. In this video I'm gonna show you how to make a dash system that goes in the directions you are pressing your keys in. There's no sounds or anything. I'm gonna add them later. Not not this video. I'm gonna add them in another video. But this video is gonna be mainly focused on making the animations and the linear velocity and literally like the movement of the character. So I'm not really going to add any sounds to it yet. I'm gonna probably add this in a later episode. So uh so if I leave, hold down W and I press Q is gonna go straight. If I hold down D, it's gonna go right, A is gonna go left and s is gonna go backward now i did add a cooldown to this of one second but i'm spamming right now i don't know if you can hear it let me get closer i'm spamming and there's definitely a cooldown so there's definitely a cooldown to this and cooldown works so yo look at that spin so cool look at that <laughs> what is that bro this is so fun look at this oh no okay let's understand that's what i do that's what i do let's see oh i did it wrong no 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 yo that's so cool bro I don't know what's cool about that, but it just is cool. So, yeah, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications bell, and tell me in the comments what you want me to make next. So, yeah, let's get on with the video. Okay, so probably what I didn't tell you guys is that this video is going to be a little bit different because I already have made everything and the script, so you don't have to watch boring 10 minutes of scripting, tapping at a keyboard, and then just gouging your eyes out to follow a tutorial. I'm just gonna put the script in the description. If you wanna learn with me, you can just listen to me talk about and explain the script. Or if you are lazy and just want to get everything already done for you, go in the description, grab the script, paste it, and you are definitely good to go. You just have to follow this part though. This is this part you have to follow it. So hey, don't click off yet, bro. Don't click off yet. Just watch the video for a bit longer. Just let me explain this part. So, in replicated storage, I added a new folder, I named it Anims. Inside this folder, I added a new folder called Dashes, and inside of here, I made four animations. I named Bagda, I named them Backdash, Forward Dash, Left Dash, and Right Dash. And I pasted in the animations IDs of the animations I totally made. Definitely didn't take them from the toolbox, from like a free model of a character that had animations on them. I definitely made these. Then you can go to the starter player, but make sure to set up the folder just as I had it set up like this anims, dashes, and all your anim animations named the direction you want them to go. Okay, I'm gonna explain more on this later. Then in starter player, not in starter character scripts, in starter player scripts, you're gonna add in a new local script and name it dash script. And you're just gonna go in here, and this is literally the script that's gonna be pasted in the description. I'm just gonna explain it to you and tell you what I've done in the script. Now, uh, here I get the local player, which is I don't have some of these don't have to be explained so much some of these do so i'm just gonna for like easy stuff i'm just gonna go directly say what i have to say for like one second and then just pass on to the next stuff do not make you wait so okay let's go so here i get a local player here i get the character from the player character or i wait for the character to be added from the player then here i get the humanoid from the character here i get the user input service here i get the animation so forward dash right dash back dash the ones that are inside here so here I just just do a bunch of stuff Stuff, okay it's just just could just copy just copy it from the description bro and just follow me then i made a new variable and i set, called it can dash equal to true this is going to determine if the player can dash or not so i can use it for the cooldown and then i create a new function called destroy and here i find i find the first shot of the character for the human and root part and uh, the linear velocity then i check if the character find for shot human root part and attachment i wait 0.14 seconds seconds and I just do uh, I just find the first shot of a human root part linear velocity and I just destroy it so basically these here copy it down copy down but instead of the then I just just destroy it then user input service input began I just wait for the I put is typing so if they is typing what I mean by that is like if you're know that 
on top here there's like a chat you can chat with other people you can text to if you press q in there it's not going to dash but if you don't do this it's going to dash even if you press q in the chat then and not can dash so if i can dash is equal to like uh false for example is not going to dash so here i check if the input dot key code equals q so we want to dash or you could do any key code literally like anyone like any key code you want like put it even m for example which is i don't know why you would put it at m the best one is q but definitely is q like this is the best key code but i don't know why you like you could put it at n you could put it at anything but i don't understand why they would have to move their whole hand to the other side just to dash but okay then I create a, a new instance of the linear velocity and I call it velocity here and the attachment and I find the first child of both of the characters so the human root part then I set the max force of the velocity I set the mass dot huge I set the velocity constraint mode to the velocity okay the attachment is to the velocity the, re the relative to and the world position to the attachment okay then what I do is here so it, here I, I do like the directions so like if like user input service and is key down so w here then so what i mean by is key down is if i'm press dash and while i'm holding down the the w button it is going to dash forward if i do it with a d button it's going to dash right if with a is going to dash left else is going to dash backward and then i just to the velocity set the vector velocity to a new vector and just here just copy these they're gonna be writing the script so just paste it all down and here i said destroy and then i said the can dash to false so that no the player can't dash again i wait one second this is gonna be like the cooldown okay so yeah see i put a, a cooldown here and then wait one second and catch can dash equals true again and that's basically the whole script so now if oh and one thing i have to say this is four dash left dash right dash back dash make sure you name them exactly how they are here or it's not going to work you could just put the names if i have this like front dash instead of forward dash i would have to change everything in here dashes and stuff like that just don't it's gonna be just put copy this and name it after which direction and name it exactly as it is in every single one of these now nothing is left to be done you can just close out of this script and just hit play and enjoy your free dash system so okay okay so if you dash forward you can see that yeah it definitely works so Oh, something I didn't say about the M1 system is that when you like join the game, the first M1 combo you do is not going to look like this. And there's like a reason for that. It's probably something with has to do with Roblox itself, not something in the script. So if I were to like join back right now, like I'm just going to join back real quick. And I were to just watch the first couple of clicks. So one, look, look at how it's messed up. I don't know why it does that. I really don't know. But you can see that the ones afterward like are perfectly fine, and there's definitely no errors in here. So I really don't know why it does that, but it is good, it's good. So um, yeah, that's basically the dash system completed. And in the next video, I will show you how to make a leader stats or leaderboard here that displays the kills and the total kills or any other any other leader stat element that we have to display. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications bell, and Tell me in the comments if this video was helpful or not. And if you have any errors, just tell me in the comments and I'll try to help you. 90% um, of the time, I'll probably fix the errors. And that was a simple script. It wasn't like a thousand line scripts. So yeah, just before texting me, just before writing the comments something, try to see if you messed up the name of the dashes, if you messed up the script or something. Yeah, try to do like those checks before you message me, okay? So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.